Assalamu alaikum guys, hope you're all doing well. Um, whatever is going on around the world with this coronavirus is very worrying at the moment. Even the UK is completely shutting down. I hope everyone's doing well, looking after themselves and taking care of themselves. I know the kids are home now, the schools are closed, the unis are closed and you know the mothers have to look after the kids as well. And I'm going to try to bring you some really easy and simple recipes that you can make in a jiffy. I'm not feeling very well as well, but I need to cook for the family. So today I'll bought you a really easy and very delicious recipe and it's aloo tiki and I'm going to make a fresh coriander chutney with that. So for this you will need about eight medium sized potatoes that are I've peeled and cut in cubes and I washed them. There's two medium onions that are finely sliced and chopped. Half a bunch of coriander. I've cut it and washed it. And this is pomegranate seeds. So this pomegranate seeds is from Pakistan. It's quite sour. The ones you get here aren't that sour, but for that you can use one tablespoon of the pomegranate powder and half a lemon. And if you can taste it and if you need to add any more lemon then you can so i'll go to the next part of the recipe i've got now. a pan on with uh, some water boiling i'm going to add the potatoes to this just add all the potatoes in that we're going to boil the potatoes until they are quite soft so I'll just give that a mix i'm going to put this the lid on it and then let it boil and every so often just give it a quick stir and see how far the potatoes are getting on and then when it's completely done i'll let you know i'm going to check on the potatoes now it's been about seven minutes they've been boiling on full heat so we'll give it let's see if it's been nearly done not quite there yet so i think another three to four minutes and then they'll be done so guys, I've switched the gas off. The potatoes are done now. So I'll show you. See, they're quite soft now. So I'm going to drain these potatoes and let them get cold. And then we're going to add the rest of the ingredients to them. The potatoes are cooled down now. So I've just mashed them with my hand. I'm not using a masher because I don't want them to get too fine. So I just mashed them with my hand. I'm going to add the rest of the ingredients in this now. Add all the onions in. Let's mix it up. Here's the pomegranate seeds. Just mix that again. I'm going to also add two teaspoons of salt. one heaped teaspoon of chili flakes and half a teaspoon of chili powder i'm not gonna make it too spicy because my kids don't like it too spicy everybody's got their own taste and uh, if you would like to add more spice into it you can just give it a taste and then just add how much you would like so now I'm going to properly mix this in, make sure all the potatoes are coated in the chili and the salt and all the other ingredients. You can make it for just a snack for tea time or you can eat it with naan, chapatis or a main, with the main meal as well. I just like to eat it with a homemade chapati and some salad and chutney and that's it and it tastes really nice i'm also going to add the coriander to this now as well mix how nice does that look i'm going to give it a taste now because i'm going to give it a, a taste now and because we like it quite tangy. I'll see if you need more pomegranate uh, powder or you'll, I can put some more lemon juice in it. 
but I'm gonna add half a lemon in it as well. So just squeeze the lemon juice out. Make sure there's no seeds in that. Give it a mix. And now I'll show you the next stage of this recipe. In this bowl, I've got two cups of basin or gram flour. And this now I'm gonna add salt in that. I'm gonna make like a paste out of this now. So mix all the salt in. And I'm gonna start adding water, just a bit at a time. Just with your hand, just give it a good mix. I'm adding water a bit at a time so it doesn't turn lumpy. Been mixing it, trying to get all the dry basin or ground flour to mix. So quite thick, so I'm gonna thin this down now. As you can see, there's no lumps left now, so I'm just gonna mix it. Not too thin, or not too thick. Just, just nicely to coat the potato dickies. For frying. As you can see now, the dropping consistency, that's perfect. And now I'll make the tikkis and I'll show you how we fry them. I'm going to take some of this mixture and start making the tikkis. Just not too small and not too big. Just like that. So I'll just Make them and put them in a plate, and that's then it's so easy just to fry them all together. So, okay. I've got the oil on the heat now, and it's just right for frying. So I'm gonna just dip one of the potato balls in here, and then stick the excess off and just pop it in. Be careful, the oil's quite hot. So I'm just gonna do that with the rest of them. So I've just added about five to the oil. I'm not going to put too many in there, so the oil will get cold. And I'm just going to give it a slight stir. I'm not going to turn them over at the moment. After a couple of minutes, then I'll turn them onto the other side. So we're going to cook them when, until they're golden brown color. I'm just going to turn it over now. You don't have to cook it too long for too long because the potatoes are cooked. Just the coating needs to get cooked. So I'm just going to turn the heat down a, to a medium now, so they don't burn. I'm getting a beautiful color on them now. So this one's done. It doesn't take any time to cook. Fish that one out and the rest. I'm going to make the rest of them as well now and then we'll serve. Guys, I'm going to show you a very quick chutney recipe. I've got one cup of fresh coriander that's washed and cut. I've got about four green chilies and three cloves of garlic in there and half a cup of plain yogurt. So I'm going to add everything into a small blender. very easy and simple recipe one teaspoon of salt and I'm gonna add two teaspoons of pomegranate a tiny bit of water will go in that as well so I'm gonna add a couple of tablespoons of water in there and that's it <laughs> There you go guys, that's done now. I'm going to add the yogurt to this and mix it all together. There you go, a quick and easy chutney recipe and which is very tasty. At this moment you could taste it now if you need to add some more salt to it. There you go guys, it's all done now. Very tasty and delicious recipe. 
and I will open one and show you how it looks from inside. There you go. That looks really yummy. It's over with chutney. And I hope you enjoyed this recipe and you would give it a try. It's really quick and simple. And take care of yourselves. I'll see you later. Bye.